Well, you walk through some Milwaukee high schools and it's common to see teenage mothers walking up and down the halls. Milwaukee has the second highest teen pregnancy rate in the whole country. A new ad campaign is trying to do something about that by sending a strong message to teens before they make life-changing decisions. With her big, beautiful brown eyes, five-month-old Janiyah is the joy of Kendra Stevenson's life. But the joy has come with a price she never could have imagined. Kendra became pregnant with Janiyah as a 17-year-old senior in high school. Now she works 10-hour days and pinches and saves every dime. She was an honor roll student, but now college has been put on hold. Kendra loves her daughter, but she does have regrets. Just the feeding, the diapers, and then not having money for diapers. It was one time where I had to call everyone I know, you know, to try to get money so my baby can have some diapers. Just really difficult. Kendra's mom helps out a lot, but otherwise, she's on her own. She wants to help other teens avoid her mistakes. If I can prevent, you know, some, somebody else from making the mistake I did, you know, then why not do it? Kendra's decided the best route is to tell her story. She served on a focus group with other teen moms for a United Way campaign for teen pregnancy awareness. The result is posters on buses, bus shelters, and billboards all over the city. Written in graffiti-like text, the message says, for a good time, call, and includes a number. Hi, this is Danielle. So you want to have a good time? There isn't anything as scandalous as the ad hints at. Instead, you hear a baby screaming and a teen mom or dad explaining why their lives aren't such a good time. You know what a good time is now? Changing 20 diapers a day. That's a good time. Getting up three times a night with a screaming kid. That's a good time. Dropping out of high school at 16 and working as a parking attendant. That's a great time. Teens are very, very savvy. Okay, they're very media savvy, and so to reach them, you know, we really had to go to the source. Heather Aldrich is the executive director of SERVE, the nonprofit agency that researched and developed the ad campaign. They thought teenagers were the best source in creating a way to communicate with other teenagers. So they brought in a group of teens to help out. Morgan Fink and Twan Love say they knew the ads would have to almost trick teens into paying attention, but then be honest and straightforward once they drew them in. In the back of your head, there's that nagging person saying, well, what is that all about? So you call it. Obviously, the adults is doing something wrong. And everyone on the development team agrees it's past time to do something right about teen pregnancy. You know, it actually cost the city of Milwaukee $48 million last year alone. And that's in health care costs, foster care costs, and uh, lost tax revenue. The message line's gotten about 1,100 calls a week since the ads went up November 13th. Kendra, for one, feels confident those numbers will add up to good results and teens who think more carefully about their futures. They have no choice but to listen to it. And once you really, you really listen to it, you're like, wow, you know, I don't want that to happen to me. You will notice the message does not tell teens what to do or what not to do when it comes to sex. That approach came directly from the teens who helped out with the ads. They said teens are sick of hearing adults tell them what to do. May be a little controversial, but if it's getting 1,100 calls a week, it's, it's working. working yeah. And saving some of the $48 Definitely. million. Dollars. Definitely. Yeah.